Many brilliant advances have happened because someone was brave enough or desperate enough to take a risk. A bold idea may take years to research and develop, but the payoff can be enormous. Nowhere is this more evident than in the field of healthcare. Founded in 1982, the Center for Male Reproductive Medicine and Microsurgery was the first university center in the country devoted exclusively to male infertility treatment and research. The center maintains research facilities at the Weill Cornell Medical Center and has graduated more than 20 fellows in male reproduction. A pioneer in the microsurgical repairing of obstructions of the male reproductive tract, the center has helped more than 6,000 infertile couples worldwide realize their dream of bringing new life into the world. The mission of the Center for Male Reproductive Medicine and Microsurgery is to provide state-of-the-art compassionate care for the infertile couple where there's a major male factor contributing to the couple's inability to conceive. Our mission also includes reproductive health for men, maintaining and enhancing the function of the male reproductive system. The Germans had always dreamt of starting a family. After years of vainly trying, their fears began to give way to hopelessness. We tried for a year and a half, and nothing was happening. And then we decided to check things out, see if everything was okay with me and with him. I went to see a urologist, and my, my, uh, my results were not good. My sperm count was low, among other things. And uh, uh, we were devastated, because at that point, we, we didn't figure we'd be able to have children. The Germans are not alone. According to a recent study, one in every six couples trying to conceive battle infertility problems. And in at least half of all cases of infertility, a male factor is a major or contributing cause. The good news is research advances in the area of male reproduction have brought dramatic changes in the ability to both diagnose and treat male infertility. Well, about half of all infertility, there's either a male factor as the main cause or as a contributing cause. Basically, all severe infertility, defined as azospermia, meaning a zero sperm count, is due to one of two things. It could be that you're making the sperm, but the sperm can't get out because there's a blockage in the duct system, or that you're not making the sperm. So it's always either a lack of production or an obstruction. With microsurgery, we can now repair obstructions in a vast majority of men with a very high degree of success. The Germans turned to the Center for Male Reproductive Medicine and Microsurgery in New York City. Dr. Mark Goldstein heads a staff of skilled, caring professionals, offering state-of-the-art, compassionate Hi. care for the infertile male. Our program is unique in its ability to combine the Center for Male Reproductive Medicine and Microsurgery with the center that does in vitro fertilization for the female. This allows us to help couples achieve pregnancies when we only have a handful of sperm, whereas in the past, these couples were only candidates for donor sperm or adoption. It used to be thought that when a couple suffered from infertility, there was very little that could be done to help them, especially if it was a male problem. But now we can help more than 70% of couples where there's a serious male problem contributing conceive advances in microsurgery, advances in medical treatment, advances on the female side, which allow us to achieve pregnancies when we can only get a handful of sperm from men, now allow a majority of couples to successfully conceive. By collaborating with the in vitro fertilization program, we've achieved the highest pregnancy rates in the world with men who previously had conditions that couldn't be treated. Patrick had large bilateral varicoceles, meaning he had enlarged veins surrounding both testicles, which heated them up and caused them to have very poor sperm counts and very low testosterone levels. I performed microsurgical varicocelectomy on him, which is a minimally invasive outpatient procedure in which I use an operating microscope to safely tie off and eliminate these varicose veins. This then improved both his sperm function and his testosterone levels, allowing him and his wife to conceive naturally. My urologist recommended that we come see Dr. Goldstein. Dr. Goldstein made us feel very comfortable. Uh, we had, going in, we had no hope that we'd be able to have a child. And when he gave the diagnosis, we had hope again. Now we have two boys, Ryan and Aiden, and thanks to, it's all thanks to Dr. Goldstein. I love everything about being a father. I didn't think I'd, ha I'd be in this position. Um, I have two boys uh, that play sports. Um, I can play sports with them. We do, you know, father-son things. It's everything about it. It's just fantastic. For more information and the best in fertility care, contact the Center for Male Reproductive Medicine and Microsurgery. 
making the dream of parenthood a reality. People ask me how many children I have, I tell them over 2,000. Um, the feedback from the couples is, is unbelievable. One of the wonderful things about my field is it's about life. Most doctors are dealing with end of life or death, but what I'm dealing with is creating life, and it's an extremely um, exciting, happy field to be in, and our patients are so grateful. Um, the microsurgery that we do, uh, they're surprised at how quickly they recover, how little pain they have, um, and they're shocked at how it makes um, them feel better if they have varicoceles because it benefits not only sperm production, but the hormone production. But the biggest thrill, of course, is when they achieve a pregnancy. When they were told, forget about it, you'll never be able to have a baby, they come to our center and then they walk home with the baby and there's nothing quite like that. I had been married previously and had a vasectomy and when Sue and I were married, we wanted the option to have children, so I went about having a vasectomy reversal and the first time it didn't work. So we, we sought out Dr. Goldstein and he performed this, the, the procedure and it did work and here's Olivia. I'm thrilled to have Olivia. Um, I, I always wanted a little girl and um, it's really been, it's been great. It's, it's been more than I could have imagined. I would definitely recommend Dr. Goldstein and the center. In fact, I already have. He's uh, clearly very passionate about what he does, and he made the procedure very easy for us. What I enjoy most about being a mom is just being around the kids. I just, I love to be with them. I love doing everything that they love to do. And I never thought that I would have boys, and it's just so great. They're so, they're little balls of energy, and it's just so much fun to see them grow, and watch them learn and I love it. Absolutely I would recommend Dr. Goldstein to other couples looking to conceive. When you don't think you're going to have children and then someone comes into your life and is able to help you have children, I mean there's not much more that someone could possibly do for me in my life that I could be more grateful for than what he did. We had done research and, and his name we heard a couple of different times from different people in the field and it's almost like they mentioned him as, as you know, this is, you know, the paragon of this, this part of medicine, and uh, we have to agree. <laughs> yeah, and when we've visited doctors, they, they know him. He really has such a reputation, and, and we can see why. Probably within 10 years, we'll be able to treat all causes of male infertility, even the most severe causes, by being able to manufacture a sperm by taking almost any cell um, uh, and then converting it into a sperm cell. Right now, we're able to extract stem cells from the human testicles, and that would probably be the best source, not just for making sperm, but ultimately, we may be able to take testicles, which have the stem cells, and convert them into muscle, into bone, into heart muscle. It can be a source for renewing other cells in the body for men that have other illnesses. So this technology will not only help infertile couples, um, but will dramatically advance the state of health care um, in other areas of the body. I see countless couples that come to me told um, by their previous doctors that there's no hope, the only thing we could do is donor sperm or adoption. And a majority of those couples, when they've finished treatment at our center, are able to go home with children. We hope this program has been an inspiration to you and all you hope to achieve. Be sure to join us next time as we continue to profile the people and ideas changing the way we live. I'm Lou Gossett, Jr. Contact the Center for Reproductive Medicine and Microsurgery, making the dream of parenthood a reality.